rise in Charlotte keep rising and the total number is now at 80. They were told that a young girl was seen walking around alone. She's described as being 8 to 12 years old. Officials say they don't know how this fire started, but that it did happen right behind me in one of the barns near the bird room. Parents have lots of concerns. They want answers to the questions as to why these CMS bus fires keep happening. Construction on Interstate 485 continues and commuters living in this area are tired of it. One important provision that has changed since this new administration is the enrollment deadline. It will be the inauguration of the first African American female mayor here in the city by Laos. They're also going to be inaugurating six new council members all under the age of 40 years old. The charity event will be happening this weekend here in Tuckasegee Park. They're expecting over 300 high schoolers to fill up this entire field. The Cleveland Browns will be taking on the Pittsburgh Steelers. It's an away game and right now they're looking to finish the season possibly 0 and 16. Cockfield has been charged with manslaughter. This is the fourth incident of road rage in Charlotte this week. Police are still looking for a third car. In today's top story, a man with a long arrest history is in custody after police say he shot into a home in West Charlotte and led officers on a chase. Here today for a one-on-one -on -one interview is CPCC President Dr. Candy Dietemeyer. First talk to us about why you became a professional dancer. Ladies and gentlemen, the cold is here. Let me Get ready for it. This holiday season, while you're focused on buying gifts for loved ones, thieves are focused on taking them from your front porch. Well, porch pirates is just that, pirates that steal or people that steal off of your porch, your packages. Home security expert Tanji Fountain says the thieves are busy. 23 million packages are stolen off of porches during the holiday season. ADT, the company she works for, wants to keep you protected. What's nice about our cameras, it will detect you via text or email any type of motion that has been detected on your porch. If you look at this video, you'll see a man who appears to be stealing a box. The ADT Pulse app captured it all. Pick whatever clip of the person that was there at that time and you can share that clip with authorities. Here's a case where a neighbor says someone stole a package off a front porch. This police report states someone stole a PlayStation 4 worth $400. Even though that case didn't happen in Huntersville, the police department created this video to offer some advice. Please take them off your porch as soon as possible, have a neighbor or family member get them for you, or even have the delivery company hold them for pickup at their facility. In Charlotte, Jennifer Roberts, Spectrum News. Love life is not here to protest anything. If it looks like a protest and it smells like a protest, it is a protest. A 40-week prayer walk organized by Love Life Charlotte. We're going to walk side by side with them. Thousands of people came out and walked the streets by the preferred women's health clinic. Women will decide their fate. Watch the church and not the state. The group's spokesperson says this is not a protest, but an act of love. We're bringing in a culture of love and life, helping these mothers who feel like they have no other choice. According to the organization's website, their mission is to end abortions in Charlotte, stating 40 weeks reflects a baby's life cycle from conception to birth. What I call the tragic truth about Charlotte. A volunteer with the clinic disagrees and says the walk was designed to shame the mothers. There are stories of what these patients are going through that they have no idea about, and it's not even a choice. It's a matter of life and death. They don't care. Jen Ferris works with Progress North Carolina. She says the thousands of people who walked the streets were a threat to the clinic. These people, they start out small, but they escalate their behavior very quickly. And what we've seen across the country is providers and workers getting shot. Love Life Charlotte disagrees and feels that their mission was clear. We believe that it's one thing to be against abortion, but it's another thing to be pro-life. In Charlotte, Jennifer Roberts, Spectrum News. These ducks survived a fire that killed more than 30 birds. We're going to continue to reassess them and help clean them. It's, it's a long process. It happened at the Carolinas Waterfowl Rescue on Sunday evening. We had just locked up the birds in the barn for the night, chickens and ducks and geese. The fire started in a barn. We did have people on the property um, on our closing shift, and luckily um, they saw smoke coming from the barn. Volunteers suspect the cause of the fire was an electrical issue. This was just one of those situations that happened because the, the barn had recently been re rewired. The fire damage will take time to repair. 
The rescue facility needs help to keep functioning and to tend to the injured birds. So if anybody, you know, has a big heart out there, Thanksgiving, Christmas coming, uh, monetary donations would be a huge help to us. Volunteers rescued the birds from threatening conditions. They say to then lose the birds in a fire was tragic. And to see something like this happen, it's just, it's heartbreaking. Jennifer Roberts, Spectrum News. Surrounded by family, men and women who honor, serve, and protect their country. That makes me proud of America and to be a veteran. The American Airlines Carolina Freedom Foundation hosted its annual Freedom Breakfast Monday, recognizing local veterans for their service in the community. Among them is a winner, Roger Shiradelli. Roger was presented with the Freedom Award for his leadership at Richard's Coffee Shop, a place known for being a living military museum. The shop is named in honor of a veteran, its previous owner, Richard Warren. And I'm honored that I can carry on Richard Warren's, what he started. Because when we came home, there was no thank you. A sound of victory for Roger, reigning freedoms we have all come to enjoy, freedoms worth fighting for. There's people out there that never get the right to express their freedom in their government, in their country, like we are here. And there's too many people today that are trying to change that. Thank you for your service. Jennifer Roberts, Spectrum News. Move out the way, men. The ladies are playing games, too. Evie is president of the Girls and Games Club at CPCC. I've always been interested in video games and developing video games. Evie says she left her home in Norway to pursue her passion for games. CPCC is helping her to achieve those goals. Everyone's open, welcome. Uh, they want to help you every way they can to make sure that you realize your dreams. She wants to bring awareness that women create video games too. Some discrimination going on when you're a girl playing. They don't respect you all the time. The staff encourages diversity, focusing on the love of the game. We have over 500 students in the program right now, very proud students, and we are very proud of them. Students learn hands-on skills for programming that can be seen in simulations like NASA. When the day is over, everybody comes together and they play games. It has been 12 years now that we have been in, uh, you know, working on this program, and we are leading the whole nation. Students like Evie graduate with more than just a degree. A lot of knowledge, a lot of new friends, and um, just a great experience. Reporting for CPCC Student TV, I'm Jennifer Roberts.